quick catch. Big dog. I have another trail set right there, untouched right now, but it's still good. in that same part in a remake that is coyote number three all in all I didn't I didn't bring my camera out the last time I came and made my checks uh, yesterday but that's coyote number three you look out here and again I can't emphasize what a good crossover uh, is doing there's trails that are faint and trails that are distinct and Boy, if you have a distinct trail, you, you want to take advantage of that. Again, it, it I got a draw right that comes right down through there. And then I have this draw right here, and we have a crossover. And this thing is just lightening them up. It is, it is just, we're just flat out killing them here. So, I'll remake it again. I don't, one of the things I noticed about this particular set unlike other remakes most of my remakes is on flat very flat uh, trails well this this trail has a defined trough in it it's right um, so when I go to re when I go to remake it the the dirt is repiled up on the sides continuing that trough and they just walk right down the thing uh, it's something I'm gonna take it's kind of like a a furrow they just walk right down it and I hadn't seen it so much I hadn't done a lot of trapping in the in these furrows kind of a trail but evidently that's it's really paying off you know they're not deviating from the track they're staying in the staying in the line doing a little extra smelling and stuff like that I remade a set down here because I did catch one on my other set and it's still just fine. It's not thrown or anything like that. But you can see how I, as I remade it, I just, and of course, Kansas wind pretty much knocks my duff off. But as I remade it, I just redefined that tra uh, that trail through there. I might clean that up a little bit and uh, when I, while I'm here remaking it. But just uh, three, three coyotes in the last three sets out of four now. So good day. Okay, I remade the set. The uh, it's an obvious circle here. They it seems to be working for me, so I'm going to stick to it. I'm not moving the set. Uh, made a little duff set right there. Put I put some gland lure on the end of the point. I uh, found one of the leftover scat from him. And uh, I, put, I placed it 10, 12 inches uh, this side of the trail and then uh, sprinkled it with a little bit of uh, cow urine. And on the other side of the set uh, of the trap, 10, 12 inches, another just shot a little bit of urine there on the ground. Uh, this cat circles, I tell you, it's, it's reeking of scent. I mean, without a doubt, the, I don't know what my urine's going to do, but certainly my gland lure and my uh, scat uh, is, is an appeals by itself. Then you go down the line, you got the other catch circle. I kind of remade that a little bit, cleaned it up, got a more well-defined uh, a well-defined trail through there compared to what it was. Kind of got pretty windy here in Kansas most days. Today's very calm and balmy, actually. We're about 40 degrees and feels kind of balmy. Uh, so I cleaned it up and got a more defined trail and uh, freshened up the set with a little more gland lure and a little more urine. Got all, got him loaded up. That's the last one we caught and there's the other two in the back of the thing. We'll 
go on down to the next set and see what we can come up with. Go back up on top of the divide under the service road. Got another coyote here. This one is um, in a pretty catty location. I'm on a different ranch and uh, beautiful heavy coyote. Uh, I caught a coon here the other day in a remake set and um, or caught a coon the other day and then I remade it and then I got this coyote in it. Uh, basically a duff set um, and it turns right around and uh, caught another one. So dust sets nothing more than a scent post uh, directing the animal which side of the animal to or which side of the duff to go ahead and for them to urinate on. So got a nice trail comes right along the edge just just out of sight of this hill. So um, this ditch runs around this corner. I don't want to call it a creek. It's best it's a dry it's a dry branch. Uh, pretty rough in here, very catty, good place for rabbits to uh, congregate and, and uh, breed and good place for them to hunt. So anyway, another trail set uh, in a hunting location. Okay, I got the coyote out of the set, with the trail set. I remade it back into a duff, uh, still pretty clear, visible. Uh, catch circle there but what I tried to do <laughs> I don't know how good of a job I did what I tried to do is redefine the trail and I took some of the duff and I just kind of on the left side of that trail and it comes down I just took a little duff it is very subtle nothing big and uh, kind of tr kept the trail defined a little bit even though we got this circle um, same situation scat uh, 10, 12 inches, uh, put some urine on it, uh, on the left side of the duff that we're looking at is also a, uh, I put a little urine in the trail, 10, 12 inches, urine on the point of my duff, along with some gland lure, um, that's, I'll try to get down here at the level, so you can kind of see the definition of the duff, it's nothing big, and like I said, it's susceptible to blowing away, but we're halfway in a little uh, hole here, so it'll, uh, it will uh, hopefully stand out all right, um, or stand up to the wind, so anyway, I'm going to move on to the next set here, nice coyote. I come out here today to uh, one of my sets and I says well something's up I says look at all the calves a couple horses and right down here Mr. Coyote is the attraction and they were all around him of course he's just sitting there saying you know what I've been pestering them my whole life I don't want to get it so anyway um, I put this set right on another trail Trail comes around, and I have a dirt hole set right here. I, I did catch one there already. It's a remake. Uh, you can see where the catch circle is, kind of above it. Uh, pretty steep draw, uh, good watershed. The uh, caught a coyote right over there the other day that I said that had rocks. You know, it was. Uh, nothing but rocks and a remake. So this little area right here kind of joins the two of them together as it heads back to the east. So I don't think our coyote's very happy about it, and I'll uh, go ahead and get him out of the out of the set. And anyway, give these uh, cows and horses a little something less to think about. So okay, I made uh, a remake of the set. I. Uh, took a the duff from the set uh, kind of try to straighten out the trail a little bit and uh, to give you a kind of a perspective of the size of a duff or what I'm doing um, there's the duff I have a point coming off right along the edge of the trail leads right over there uh, I put some scat about 10 12 inches 
uh, from my pan center to give them something else to focus on. I put a little gland lure, a little urine right there. Also sprinkled some urine right here on the other side of the trap, about 10, 12 inches. Something to kind of slow them down. And that just extends right on down the layway. Guess my calves are starting, the horses are fine. But, um, so the, that's this set. We're going down and check the next set. The T-bone rocks. He's got more rocks shoveled up here. Yeah, it's a remake of that. I put the T-bone and some duff. Show yourself. There you go. And um, again, at the head of this draw, the other side of me. I mean, I'm right on a divide, right behind me. And uh, but what a great trail! Comes right by the edge of this. Running east and west, right along this divide. A really nice spot. And uh, let me go ahead and do a remake of this. Uh, put him down. That's two coyotes so far today. Um, just a very good day on the Kansas trap line. But it is a main trail. There's a cow print right there. Any more of them? Right there, you can make out the least I right in that spot. There's a cow print right there. Heading right down this trail. So this is a this is a, a used trail. Putting in a trail set would be the thing to do. What I'm looking at, we have the draw, and there's the visible spot from the road. I want to make sure there that I don't like thieves. I do not like thieves. Them suckers, they can. I don't like people stealing my fur or my traps or all of that. So. I'm just looking down here at this setup. My trail gets real, uh, real loose here. Not very defined. Animals probably splitting up, going different directions. Back toward the four-wheeler on the other hand. I think I'll take a chance on this one. One trail set's not going to hurt anything in here. Not going to hurt a thing. I like areas where it just looks like a natural pinch down, lo pinch down location. I like the ground level as I can to make it blend back in. And um, I don't want them to jump over anything or whatnot. I think we can get a nice set in here someplace. Trail becomes a little less defined, but it does, as I walk down the trail, it does a little jog right here. I like this right here. I like this. Kind of makes them have to kind of come around this little, br uh, this little bush and make a nice uh, scent post kind of a location. So I'll put a trail set in. In order, the way I make my trail sets, I'm at the spot. I took the back end of my sifter here on the side and I raked the dry dirt to the left and dry dirt to the right. I'm digging my hole for my trap bed and um, I don't make a neat trap bed as far as the way it looks is when I go to do it. I, I don't have that skill, I guess, to make a perfect little wedge 
hole and where my trap just barely sits in it, I kind of just whack away at it and get my hole dug and I'll uh, cup it and uh, set my trap back in. I'll show you that. But this is the first stages of how I do my trail set. I have my dry matter on each side of the set to blend it all back in. I have my fresh dirt dug out of the hole uh, right beside the trail. So let me go ahead and... Okay. So what I did was is I uh, got my stake in. I uh, scratched off the fur off of the dead animal that was caught before this in this set. Again, the trap's already been used. I'm just moving it to a different spot um, from my other farm. And um, I'm sitting about a oh, good inch below ground level. I could be a little higher than that, but I'm about an inch, and I have a lot of filling in to do. So what I'll do is I'll start pushing the dirt in around the sides. Switch hands here. I'll go ahead and fill all this in. Got to make it, the trap is, it, by taking the loose dirt and forming a bowl, um, using your fist is a good way to doing it and just kind of whirling out the dirt to the sides. Uh, the trap will bed real easy in the hole. Use my palm here. Okay, it's a little loose dirt there. Pack some more in. This trap is double laminated, top and bottom. That really makes it nice. It's offset. There's the offsets right there. Okay, I'm a little bit low there, which is fine. Do the same thing all the way around the set. Don't want nothing under my pan cover. Okay. Nothing under my pan. Trap is solid. Let me go ahead and pack a little dirt right around them jaws. Okay, there that is. So now my trap is just ready for a, a um, piece of steel screen wire, heavy duty, and um, I'll go ahead and do that. Let me just set this down for a minute. I don't know if that showed that or not, but um, I just went ahead and cupped it underneath each of the jaws right there. So now that's solid and gives me a little bit of extra square. If a coyote were to step in this zone here and put it, apply his weight, uh, the trap should go off. Now it's a matter of sifting everything back in. I'm going to use the fresh dirt first. I'll set this down again. Okay. Take some of the bigger chunks and just let it go on down. I'll go ahead and I have some dirt there now. So let me go ahead and kind of broom that in. And I'm going to press that down along the sides. Make it solid. Only one soft spot and that's the trap. It's real soft there. Only one soft spot, and that's the trap. Okay, now that's a little bit lower, which is fine. That doesn't bother me a bit. Take this loose top stuff, let me set it down.
Okay. I'm going to start on the side. I'm going to cover the whole thing. Toss that to the side. Now then, we're going to go in. Now's the blending time. So I'm going to grab a, the older dirt on this end. The drier dirt, not the older dirt. Imagine they're the same age. Now, start here. Look how much drier that is. Just got back to the trailer. We unloaded on three coyotes from my first ranch, six coyotes out of my out of the ranch we just ran. Nine coyotes today. Got them by one o'clock. Good day.